In this video, we're going to be going over bond pricing and amortization. So in this example, we have a bond that has a face value of $500,000, a coupon rate of interest of 6%, frequency of twice a year, which means semi-annual, and a maturity in years of 10. In this case, we have a market rate of 3%, so we would expect this bond to be issued at a premium, but we will see when we calculate the price. So first, it's not 100% necessary, but if we calculate the coupon, it's going to make calculating the price of the bond and doing the amortization just a little bit easier. So I'm going to click in cell B9 to calculate the coupon payment. I'm going to take the face value, so I'm going to click on cell B3. I'm going to multiply it by the coupon rate of interest, so type an asterisk and click on cell B4. And then I'm going to type a forward slash to divide by the frequency B5. So notice I'm not using numbers, I'm using all cell references in the formula. So I have a coupon of $15,000 every six months. Now I'm going to first click in cell B11. To calculate the price of the bond, I'm going to use a PV function. So I'm going to click on Formulas, and then Financial, and I'm going to scroll down until I see PV returns the present value of an investment, as the, um, the total amount that a series of future payments is worth now. So I'm going to click on my PV. So first, in the rate, I'm going to click on my market rate of 3%. That's very important. If you use the coupon rate of interest, then you'll get $500,000 if you take your present value. But I have to forward slash and divide by the frequency, so I'm going to forward slash and click on B4. So we should have 3% divided by 2 in our rate. In N per, I'm going to click on the maturity in years, and I'm going to multiply it by the frequency. So B6 multiplied by B5. In the PMT box, I'm going to type a negative number. That will mean that the answer comes out positive. And click on the coupon payment of $15,000. And then in the FE box, I'm going to type a negative sign and click on cell B3, the face value of $500,000. I get an answer of 628. 764.79. I'm going to click OK. And now to calculate the premium or the discount, I'm just going to take the price of the bond and subtract the face value. So in cell B12, I'm going to enter the formula equals B11 minus B3. So this bond was issued at a premium of 128000 $764.79. Now to amortize this bond using the interest method of amortization. So first I'm going to click on the ending carrying value for period zero. That is going to be the issue price of the bond. So in cell F16, I'm going to type an equal sign and I'm going to click on cell B11, the issue price of the bond. All my formulas now are going to go on this row 1, line 17 in Excel, and we're just going to copy everything down. So in our beginning carrying value, we're going to tell Excel that whatever was the carrying value the period before, that is our beginning carrying value. So in cell B17, I'm going to type an equal sign, and then click on F16, not F17, F16, and I'm going to hit Enter. Now for the interest, I'm going to use the principal times rate times time formula. So I'm going to tell Excel to take whatever is the beginning balance, so type an equal sign and click on B17. Now we're going to multiply it by the market rate of interest, 3%. As we copy that formula down, we always want it to point to the 3%. So if you're on a PC, you hit your F4 button. If you're on a Mac, you're going to use Command T, or you can just type in the dollar sign, but this cell reference must read $B, $8, otherwise your amortization chart will not work. 
Then we want to divide by the frequency. So I'm going to forward slash. I'm going to click on cell B5, which is the frequency, but must it, once again, that must be turned into an absolute cell reference. If that does not read $B$5, then your amortization chart will not work. So we've now calculated the interest for the first period. Our coupon payment is already calculated. So in cell D17, I'm going to type an equal sign. I'm going to click on cell B9. And once again, I need those dollar signs. So F4, Command T, or just type them in. So I have a coupon payment equals dollar B, dollar nine. Now the amortization is just the difference between the two. So I'm going to take in cell E17, I'm going to tell Excel to take D17 and subtract C17. No dollar signs are needed because I want that to update for every row. And now finally, our ending carrying value is going to be the beginning carrying value minus the amortization. So I'm in cell F17, I'm going to type an equal sign. I'm going to click on B17 and subtract E17. And hit enter to accept the formula. Now at this point, I'm all done. All I have to do is copy the period one or row 17 formulas all the way down and you will know if you're right because the ending value after 20 periods should be exactly the face value of five hundred thousand dollars so i'm going to select the range b17 to f17 and you can drag the fill handle but all you need to do because the numbers are ready in column a all you need to do is double click the fill handle and notice how we come down exactly to $500,000. So we have now calculated the price of a bond and amortized it using the interest method.